Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. If you're feeling nostalgic about those classic iOS games from the early iPhone days, like Iron Man, Prince of Persia, and old Gameloft titles, this video is for you. Today, I'll show you how to play classic iOS games on Android using the Touch HLE emulator, what actually works, what doesn't, and what you should realistically expect. Just remember, Touch HLE only supports very old iOS games, not modern ones. Think of it as a time machine for early iPhone gaming. Now let's jump into the setup because it's actually pretty simple. First, you need two things, the latest Touch HLE file and iOS game files in .ipa format. Once you have the Touch HLE file, you extract it, and inside you'll find the APK. Install that APK on your Android phone like any normal app. After installation, open the app, and you'll notice the home screen is very clean and simple. You'll see four options, file manager, quick options, copyright info, and their official website. To add games, we start with the file manager. When you tap on it, Touch HLE opens its internal directory. Now here's the important part, you need to go to your phone's main file location. Find the folder where you've kept all your iOS game files, select them, and copy them. After that, come back to the Touch HLE directory, open the first Touch HLE app folder, and paste all the game files there. Once that's done, close everything completely and reopen the emulator. When you open it again, your games should now appear inside the emulator. One small issue I noticed is that I added eight games, but only seven appeared in Touch HLE. This can happen because the emulator is still in development. Next, let's talk about the quick options, which is basically the settings menu. The first option you'll see is scale. In my experience, 2x is the sweet spot. It gives better looking textures without causing performance issues. After that, you'll see orientation settings. Honestly, you can leave this on default, no need to touch it. Then there's network access. This option is mainly for online features. It's better to keep this turned off. The last option can also stay on default. Now comes the most interesting part, game testing. The first game I tested was Iron Man 2, a very old iOS game from the early days. The game started without any issues, ran smoothly, and surprisingly, I didn't notice any sound glitches. Of course, if we compare it to today's mobile games, it looks extremely outdated. Let's be honest, you'll find games on the Play Store today that are 10 times better. But if nostalgia matters to you, it's still playable and fun in its own way. After that, I tried the Amazing Spider-Man 2 mobile iOS version, and this is where things went downhill. As soon as I launched the game, Touch HLE crashed and showed an error pop-up. I tried multiple times, but the same issue happened every single time. Next, I tested Battlefield Bad Company 2 iOS version. The PC version of this game is massive, so I was curious. But again, after launching, Touch HLE crashed with a different error reason. Then I moved on to a Gangstar game, which honestly gives strong GTA vibes. The menu loaded perfectly fine, but as soon as I started a new game and hit the loading screen, the emulator crashed again. Finally, I tested Prince of Persia, the Forgotten Sands iOS version, and this one actually worked. This game was extremely popular back in the day. It has a good story, but yes, the graphics are obviously outdated. What surprised me was that even on my powerful phone, the game still had some lag. This this clearly shows that Touch HLE still needs optimization and development. Performance can vary a lot depending on your device. Now here's where things get really interesting. I tested Resident Evil 4 iOS version, and right after starting, I got a crash pop-up saying my ARM CPU was not suitable. But instead of giving up, I tried the same game on another phone, an older device with a Mali GPU. And guess what? The game started smoothly, ran perfectly, and was completely playable with good performance. This proves one very important point. Just because a game doesn't work on your phone doesn't mean it won't won't work on someone else's device. Touch HLE performance depends heavily on your phone's hardware, CPU, and GPU. You can also check the emulator's compatible games list on their official GitHub page to see which titles are known to work better. So yeah, that was my complete experience with the Touch HLE emulator on Android. If you're someone who loves classic iOS games and wants to relive that old school mobile gaming era, this emulator is definitely worth trying. Just keep your expectations realistic. Remember, performance and compatibility can change depending on your device, so experiment and see what works best for you. If you enjoyed the video, hit like, subscribe for more gaming content, and comment which classic iOS game you want to see next. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay creative gamers.